Wakanda on April 16th to order at 6 p.m. Please rise and join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, please. Trustee Howell. Here. Trustee Shaw is absent. Trustee Kuhn. Here. Trustee Strauss. Here. Trustee Stein. Here. And Trustee Geary. Here. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Our first item on the agenda is a recognition for Rudy Magna. Rudy's been our village attorney for 31 years. Great job. No, no. It was, I think, the third. Okay. Well, come on up. I've got to present something to you. Thirty-one years. That was 20 pounds ago. So, Rudy, on behalf of the village, the village board, and village staff, I'd like to present you with these rocks glasses that I understand you'll truly enjoy and wish you the best in your future endeavors. And I understand you're going down to Texas and kind of stay up here, but mostly down in Texas. So I want to thank you. And since you're the village historian, thank you. A few. A few. I told you. I told the mayor that a priest at Carmel High School, when I attended there, gave me the right prayer for moments like this. Lord, place your arm around my shoulder and your hand over my mouth. In somewhat of anticipation, I thought, well, how do I summarize 31 years? When I came out here, the population was about 6,000. Today, it's a little north of 14,000. So there was a lot of work that went into it. The Liberty Lakes Project, we had a lot of creative financing with it. The special service area, we doubled the sewage treatment plant size without having to issue a bond through a technique of advance impact fees and connection fees. And things worked well, and I think a little easier in those days. So there were just so many events. I see former Mayor Mark Kennedy here, and I think of all the work that went into bringing that Lake Michigan water in. It was a tremendous effort. Your administration got the bond issue, a $40-plus million bond issue that helped to finance those improvements. So, I mean, and I could go on and on. Former Mayor Jim Eschenbach, who was the mayor who appointed me, we had a little dinner at Dover Straits in Mundelein because he didn't know me, I didn't know him, but he took a chance with me. And 31 years later, here. So it's been mostly enjoyable. There were bumps and interruptions along the way. Always so collaborative. The work of the village boards over the years. When I got here, it was definitely a split board. So I was half lawyer, half referee in those days. But again, Mayor Eschenbach, with his patience and his common sense, helped to move that board to a more collaborative board, and I think set a tradition for boards to come. So it was marvelous to see that. I could draw on and on. I don't want to do that, but love all of you. Love this community. I will visit from time to time. I'm still, we don't want to scare my chief assistant there, Jody. I'm still going to be working. Now, at a little more private rates, which isn't all bad. So I thank you all. 
Uh, Linda and Glenn, I see you there. Uh, we we have some stories that we could tell, but maybe over a beer and a cocktail, <laughs> <laughs> then, then here on YouTube. So again, uh, with uh, best wishes for the board, mayor, um, and the community as a whole. Um, I I I say goodbye, but uh, not permanently. I'll visit once in a while. So, and I'm sure there'll be a paper that Greg is going to want me to, to <laughs> dig up every once in a while. So we'll, we'll be doing that. So thank you all for the gift. And thank you all. Thank you.
We're going to start out by issuing the 2022 uh, President Volunteer Service Award Program. I'd like to start. Now, I may butcher some names, but I'm used to it. I'll try to say Wormus if you don't know how to say it. Okay. We're going to start out with uh, Brandon Graves with 102 hours. Come on up. So what we'll do is at the end, we'll take one photo together with everybody in the awards. <coughs> Kirsten Lederick with 120 hours. Danny Curtis with 134 hours. And Elvis. <laughs> Jeff Lewis with 145.5 hours. Thank you, thank you much. Thank you. George Uribe with 167 hours. Braxton Miller with 175 hours. Dave Kleckner with 179 hours. <coughs> and Tim Briotti with 231 hours. All right, why don't we get a real quick picture with the bronze, and we'll go on to 2023. If you guys want to stand around Dave. Everybody scooch in. Thank you. Some of you are going to be receiving two awards for 2023. Would you like to start out with Greg Durbin for 111.5 hours? Yes. Should be noted that we can only go off what's documented, and he won't document most of his hours. <laughs> Long hours. That's pretty much true. <laughs> Kirsten Lederick at 129 hours for 2023. Come on back up. <laughs> Danny Curtis with 131 hours. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, sir. That's again. Um, and Kazem Kos Kosevic, and he's not here today. Uh, Jeff Lewis at 141.5 hours. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Chief? Yeah. George Uribe with 180 hours. Braxton Miller with 180.5 hours. Tom Duncan with 185.5 hours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And last but not least for 2023, <laughs> Tim Briotti with 266.5 hours. He receives the silver award. All right. Wow. Go Tim. So if everybody can kind of scooch in the middle again, we'll take one picture again. Come on over here. Tallest guy next to me, so I look shorter. <laughs> Short guys in front of And I just want to say, that's right, I just want to say one more thing. So obviously, every time I talk about CERT, uh, I can't say enough about him, and I will 
put my life on the line and say that without CERT, the village of Wakanda would not be successful. So from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you guys and everything you do because you make our events run smooth. We rely on you for so many things. So I personally, like everybody else will tell you, we appreciate you. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks again. No, no problem. Thank, thank you. Really you. Appreciate the support. Yep. Thank you, Chief. Pat, did you want to say anything? No, sir, you said it all. Nice to meet
Thank you. Any items to be moved? Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to approve consideration of consent agenda by Anne Rennes vote. I'll make the motion. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Strout? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Geary? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Any questions on the consent agenda? Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to approve items A through C on the consent agenda by Anne Rennes vote. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Strout? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Geary? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. On to new business. Item A. Consideration and approval of a bid recommendation with Builders Paving LLC for the 2024 street improvement project in an amount not to exceed $2,132,000. Recommend. Thank you, Mayor. Back in October of last year, staff settled in on a scope of work for this year's road project. HMG Engineers was tasked shortly after that with completing design engineering. We opened or completed a bid opening last or about two weeks ago, and staff is recommending approving a bid in the amount of $2,132,000 with Builders Paving. With that, I can answer any questions. Any questions? Hearing no questions. Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to approve item A under new business? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Strout? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Geary? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Item B. Consideration and approval of the construction phase service agreement with HMG Engineers Incorporated for the 2024 street improvement project in an amount not to exceed $120,000. Recommend. This would be the second half of the road project is approving a proposal with HMG Engineers to complete the construction engineering. Questions? Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to approve item B under new business? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Strout? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Geary? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. To item C, consideration and approval of the fiscal year 2024-2025 budget. Director Bethanis. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, Trustees. This is the same budget we looked at at the Committee of the Whole, the last Committee of the Whole meeting, except for the changes that I had put on the board related to insurance. It's intact with everything we discussed. It authorizes $34 million worth of spending, of which at least $14 million is construction costs on both the street and water side. So it's for your consideration. It will be utilized by us to guide our spending through all of next year, and we will come back with an appropriation ordinance that is supported by this in July. Thank you. Any questions? Hearing none, may I get a motion and a second to approve item C under new business? Motion. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Kuhn? Yes. Trustee Strout? Yes. Trustee Stein? Yes. And Trustee Barrett? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Item D under new business. Consideration and approval of an ordinance amending the water and sewer rates. Director Bethanis. Staff is recommending an increase of 9% this year to support the budget amounts. As, again, we discussed in the Committee of the Whole meeting, the rate would go up from $18.88 combined per 1,000 gallons to $20.58 per 1,000 gallons, which was an increase of $1.70. The impact would be $3.40 to the minimum customer per month, or $6.80 per month to the average customer. So somewhere between $40 and $80 per year is about what the impact will be for that set of people. This increase supports a pretty big capital improvement program that we put together. The capital improvement program showed $35 million alone on the water side of spending over the next five years. Of course, that includes the wastewater plant, which is very big, and we know it's coming. So staff structured this just for one year. You'll see that there's only the one rate increase for the 9% as of July 1st of 2024. The rest of them were put as to be decided by future ordinance. 
staff is going to come back within the next year with a better plan that incorporates all of the planning documents that we put together and try to figure out a way to handle rates moving forward and maybe we can recreate that five year look. But at this stage of the game, it's just the one year at the 9% for $1.70 per thousand gallons. Thank you, any questions? I just note that uh, we're not alone in having to do this. Um, you know, Mundelein just uh, raised theirs 11%. Um, Lake Zurich is gonna be facing some significant increases with, with Lake, Zurich, Lake Michigan water coming in. Um, I know it's painful for, for people. We've tried to keep it as low as we possibly can to still do the work we need to do and provide the services, so uh, I support this. Thank you. How will this be communicated to residents and businesses? I believe we've sent out a letter before. Uh, I don't know if we send it as part of the bills because I wasn't here at that time, but uh, I, I did see the letter, so we will draft the letter. It will probably be in the newsletter as well. Um, it doesn't take effect until July 1st, so it's any services after July 1st, so it should kick in with the August bill as well. So it'll go, it'll go with their water bill. Right, we have time to notify them before right. that. Is and there it? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I would just I'm add sorry. that we are starting to build out a more comprehensive information set of information about our infrastructure projects to start to tell the community about these critical projects in the wastewater for the wastewater plant and for um, our collection system and our water system so that um, we can explain why it's happening and how this is a part of maintaining a critical public health quality of life and system that supports our businesses too so that's part, I, I think, what we're going to try to add to our communications this year. And, and as we know, the um, new EPA uh, mandates, unfunded mandates, is one of the main reasons we're having to redo our wastewater treatment plant, which is a big ticket item. So, I uh, guess my next question, Administrator Madison, based on what you just said, thank you for sharing that, is, is, is there an opportunity to do a public meeting? For residents to talk about the rates, but in the context of the improvements that we're that we're making, there was so many, there was such good attendance at the Bangs Lake public meeting uh, that there could be another opportunity to talk to people in person, especially people who are concerned or on a fixed income, to understand that broader. Picture. I think that's a good. I think it's a good idea to provide an information session. We've talked about doing like a Zoom thing in the past, but yeah, we'll we'll look at that. Like an open house thing, I think would be a really good, um, <coughs> some, a really good idea. I, think so. I agree. I agree. I think it's something we should do. Thank you for your consideration. Any further questions or concerns? Hearing none, I get a motion and a second to provide an D under new business. I'll make a motion. Second. Roll call, please. <coughs> Trustee Howe. Yes. Trustee King. Yes. Trustee Strouds. Yes. Trustee Stein. Yes. And Trustee Gary. Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Um, there is no old business. On to the mayor's report. First, I want to thank Director McManus and the staff for putting together all these numbers. And uh, we got a lot going on. So we've been uh, very busy. So thank you. Uh, our condolences to the Lenning family. Brian Lenning passed on April 4th at his home. Brian was a resident of Wakanda and very involved with the village of Wakanda and specifically the Wakanda Area Chamber of Commerce. He recently received the Wakanda Area Chamber of Commerce Lifetime Achievement Award. Our thoughts and prayers go to the Lenning family as he will truly be missed. I can thank Rudy for his 31 years of service and dedication to the village. Wish him the best in his future endeavors. So thank you, Rudy. Congratulations to the Wakanda Area CERT volunteers on their Presidential Service Awards. Without CERT and the volunteers, as the Chief said earlier, uh, not only the village, but our events would not be as streamlined as they are, so thank you all. And congratulations to the Wakanda FBLA team on their accomplishments at States. They, yeah, the second largest local chapter in the state. They got the Gold Seal Chapter Award. Third place, Robert Stickler Outstanding Chapter Award. Second place, March of Dime Fund Fundraiser Award. Gold Level Champion Chapter Award and Gold, Recyc Gold Green Recycling Award. There were 118 students that competed, 99 students attended, 50 teams finished in the top 10, 35 teams finished in the top four. There were 13 first place teams, nine second, and eight third place. 
and I would like to thank all the mentors and volunteers who helped prejudge and judge the FBL, FBL A students throughout the year, and especially before the events, and wish all the qualifiers the best at nationals. And what kind of will be featured in a documentary on the Discovery Channel, Arrow Media will be here today, tomorrow, and Thursday, filming a show called High Speed Chase. It will be starring Chief Wormus, Sergeant Konak, and retired Sergeant Burke, uh, who they flew in especially for the event. So thank you all for that. And congratulations to Bart Romero on taking first place in the state competition of hydro hysteria. So they're still doing a great job. Yeah. Uh, that's all I have. On to trustee comments and committee reports. Stay help. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, the Wakanda Area Chamber of Commerce is hosting a legislative breakfast a week from today at the Volo Village Hall. Area legislators, including Mayor Sodi, will be on the panel. Uh, you can register at the Chamber's website. I plan on being there. I think it's a great opportunity for us to interact with uh, uh, our statewide legislatures as well as our, some of our neighboring communities. I want to thank staff, particularly Finance Director McManus, for all the work that goes into the annual budget process. I think we have a good financial blueprint for the coming fiscal year. Um, thank you, of course, to all our amazing CERT volunteers. Uh, as uh, Chief Formas said, so many events in this town could not happen without them. Uh, and finally, I'm going to express my deepest gratitude to Rudy Magda for all of his years of service as our village attorney. He has been invaluable for us trustees, and as a fellow attorney, I salute your professionalism, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Mayor. Uh, I'd like to thank Rudy, too, for your steadfast, loyal, and high-quality service over the last 31 years. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It's with a grateful heart that I also thank all of our staff here today for the hours and hours of hard work that goes into preparing for our municipal budget vote that happened tonight. We have some hard decisions ahead, but working together, I'm confident we'll continue to find new ways to fund the work that needs to be done to keep Wakanda a place where people want to continue to live, work, and play. I'd also like to thank all of the staff not in the room, the people on the front lines who are keeping our community safe and clean and healthy and welcoming for all of the residents and visitors and businesses. Um, and a big congratulations to all of the Wakanda High School FBLA teams and the CERT members receiving awards tonight. Um, I, I am have gotten more involved with the Wakanda High School FBLA program and um, have three instructors at Mathnasium that uh, received first place awards and are going to state. And the uh, team that we're partnering, that Mathnasium is partnering with, also got first in state and is going to national. So it's been an honor to get to know more about that program and the great work that Wendy Mills has done for our community. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, again. Rudy, I, I have not been on the board uh, with you as long as some of the others, but uh, it's always been a pleasure to sit next to you. <laughs> and I hope, <laughs> and I, I hope to have a drink with you sometime in the well, future. Well, we can use them. We can use them. Because those are Congratulations to everybody at CERT uh, being on the uh, committee for our uh, Wakanda Cruise Nights. They do a fine and excellent job, and we wouldn't be able to do what we do with, without their assistance. Um, also want to give uh, my condolences to uh, the family of Brian Lenning. I was very honored to be able to see him uh, get his award at the uh, chamber dinner, and um, my heart goes out to his family. Um, for things that I have to uh, announce, uh, the American Legion is having a spaghetti, a Sinatra and spaghetti dinner on May 11th. Uh, Luddy, he, I think he's been at some other places in town before. Um, tickets are $10 at the door, or $10 in person, $15 at the door. Um, and that is also kind of a Mother's Day event to military moms. And just a reminder, as I'll continue to say until Memorial Day, uh, the Legion is selling Memorial Day shirts and also raffle tickets that go to help fund all that they do for the parade. That's all I have. Perfect. Thank you. Trustee Stein. Uh, I just want to say congrats for Rudy on 31 years. Um, I haven't been here as long as some of the others as well, but it's always been, uh, you've been a great source of knowledge and professionalism. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're just a child. Yeah, yeah. I'm up here, I guess. Trustee Gary. 
Uh, I want to report briefly about the ad hoc committee last night on the lake, lake management plan. We had our third meeting. It was a really good meeting. We have a great cross-sectional group of people that participate in that. Um, we also had a good audience that really participated in a good way uh, last night. Uh, and they come up with reasonable ideas that eventually are going to make their way to this board as recommendations. So I think they're taking it on with the right attitude. Uh, we had a nice update from uh, Jake and Luke about the treatment that's been going on in the lake. That was good. We reviewed the educational priorities that uh, we're, we've identified as things we should focus on. Um, and one of the ideas, which I think is really spectacular, is maybe even a community showcase of, commu of lake agencies that are involved with our lake. There's more than you would think. And uh, maybe making a kind of a special event thing to uh, promote education about the lake. Uh, it's something we want to start trying to talk about. And then lastly, we spent time about the next big issue, which is lake monitoring. You know, all the things that go into that. And I think they, they, they took it on with a reasonable attitude that we can't do it all. Uh, and that's really what I'm happy about with this group is that we're trying to feed in a little bit of this stuff, push some to next year, but see where volunteers can help and then maybe what the consultants can help us with. But uh, I'm pretty excited about the satisfaction survey that with Allison's help, it looks to me like Maybe we can move sooner than later on that, and we made some good good movement with that. And um, and we're going to make a set some time to get to the natural resources committee with you know kind of our role is to move it up to that direction and kind of share with the board at that level first about things we're thinking about in that plan. Rudy, um, 19 of those 31 years I've been affiliated with you in some role or another, and. Uh, it's just been a real pleasure. Uh, your counsel has been great. You've taught me a lot. Your wisdom has been spot on. Um, just simply stated, I'll remember you as a good friend and I'll miss you here. So I'll see you around, I Same hope. Back, okay. Thank you. And uh, thanks to that CERT group, uh, outstanding group of people. You saw a small portion of them. Without them, our community wouldn't be as great as it is. I'm very sure of that. Uh, the FBLA has done just an outstanding job again. So many community people are involved in that. I'd like to see, I hope it continues on like it does. Bart Romero, seriously, again. <laughs> um, and, and then please don't forget the Lions Club has a fishing tournament, a fundraiser. Um, and it's our, they are not fifth annual, though we had to take a break during COVID and whatnot. We're trying to get it going again. It's April 27th. You can sign up online. And there's a $500 uh, prize for first place. So it's a gas fishing tournament. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Uh, we're going to go into executive session. May I get a motion and a second to go into executive session for compiled, Illinois compiled statute 120-2-C-5 and 120-2-C-6. So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Trustee Howe? Yes. Trustee Yes. Trustee Strauss? Yes. Trustee Snyder? Yes. And Trustee Garrett? Yes. Thank you, motion carried. Thank you.